Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of the Sega News Bits. I'm your host George and today we're going to be talking about Sonic Racing. Uh, apparently there's this rumor going around that it's been going for, around for a bit and I'll detail it right now but that there's going to be a new racing game by Sega, a kart racing game. And this whole thing started back last month when uh, somebody found a British law firm that was had like a slideshow for Sumo Digital. They found it over at Reset Era and it basically had a slide about their upcoming games and one of them was an unannounced karting game uh, using an established global IP. And then right after that, Aaron Weber, the social media manager for Sonic Brand that runs the Twitter account, basically shot the rumor down saying there wasn't going to be a new All-Stars racing game. But then the rumor popped up back again when Sonic Stadium found a British toy manufacturer named Zappy saying that there was going to be a new Sonic racing game in 2018. And then again, a guy named Larry that comments on Sonic Stadium said that there was going to be a Sonic racing game, but won't feature Sega characters. This guy was the one that revealed that Sonic Forces would have a created character. We ran his rumor on this channel a while back, and we agreed that it was most likely going to happen, and it, mo and it did happen. Does this mean that it's confirmed? Well, I mean, let's look back at what Aaron Weber actually said. He said, there isn't an All-Stars racing game. And he used the branding, right? The All-Stars branding. I'm pretty sure they're going to drop the All-Stars branding name and just call it Sonic Racing. So maybe he is right on this one. And then the other one was, if you look at the Sumo Digital rumor, they said an established global IP, one IP, not multiple IPs, like the All-Stars racing game have been. So with all this, and I think Aaron Weber here is being very misleading. He's assuming that by shooting down the all-stars racing rumor that nobody's going to catch on that he's actually means there is going to be a sonic racing game and i do think that this is going to be announced at southwest by southwest i don't know if you remember but when they showed the little panel they're doing they said they're going to show the future of sonic and i think having a racing game might be part of that future and how do i feel about this not very positive because the all-stars game kind of felt like sega's smash brothers something that I wish the company would embrace a little more and having them just basically throw out all the other IPs and the All-Stars branding name and just gonna make a Sonic racing game, I think it's a step backwards. And I know what they're trying to do, they've been trying to get rid of the Sega name from the title for a while, I mean, the brand of games actually started on the PlayStation 2 era and it was just called Sega Superstars, then they went on to make a sequel called Sega Superstars Tennis and then of course when they did the racing games and they changed it to All-Stars. They called it Sonic and Sega All-Stars. And then for the Transform game, they literally dropped Sega altogether. So this has been something that them as a corporation, they've been wanting to do. Shorting down the name, make it more appealing to uh, mainstream audiences. And it's kind of negative in my opinion as a fan because it's basically telling us, yeah, all those brands you love, all those little tie-ins, nah, we're just going to keep it Sega. I mean, keep it <laughs> Sonic. There's nothing wrong with Sonic. I think there's a lot of characters of Sonic and I think there's a lot of like underground characters that never really get a chance. I like I like Sonic the Fighters. Uh, I think there's a lot of potential for this but the fact that we'll never get another All-Stars most likely because of this it's very a negative for me I would say. I do hope that they add some Sega references in here but the fact that it's just gonna be called Sonic Racing and that's it most likely uh, it doesn't bite well with me. This is obviously a rumor, but I have a feeling this is going to become true. And that's all I got to say about this rumor. That's just what I think about this news. What do you think about this rumor? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this content and you want to see more Sega news, subscribe, share, like the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I also have my main channel here linked. You don't have to subscribe to it, but I appreciate if you did. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.